Okay, so we're going to solve three dimensional analysis problems. We're going to start with an easy one, and then do a little bit harder one, and then do a more difficult one at the end. So we're going to start with number one. So remember, we're going to circle what we're looking for and underline what we're given. So if we say, how many meters are there in 3,500 kilometers, we know that we're trying to go from meters to kilometers. The next step is going to be to reference our conversion chart. Remember, we'll be given this. And we're going to try to find which conversion we can use, see if we can do it in one step. So if we notice this conversion right here, that 1,000 meters equals 1 kilometer, we can use that conversion. So we're going to go back, I'm going to put that away. So we know that 1,000 meters is going to equal one kilometer. And since we only have one conversion factor, it's just one step. So we're going to start at kilometers, and we're going to go to meters. That's our roadmap. So now we're ready to set up the problem. We always start with what we're given, which in this case is 3,500 kilometers. We're going to make our tic-tac-toe board. We only need one because we only have one arrow. Remember, you can put a one in this box here, but you do not have to. Now, since the kilometers is right here in this section, we have to put kilometers opposite that so that we can cross it out. So that way, the kilometers is gone. It is similar to if you try to get rid of the fraction one, and one half by multiplying by its reciprocal that would allow you to cross out the twos. It's the same kind of idea. So kilometers goes on the bottom. Meters, your other unit has to go on the top. You have to make sure you match the value, the number, with the correct unit. And you get 1,000 meters in one kilometer. You should only have one unit left, and that unit should be what you circled in the problem. And you can see it's meters and meters. So we're going to go ahead and just multiply this. And remember that anything over three digits needs to be in scientific notation, so your answer would be 3.5 times 10 to the 6th, and your unit is going to be meters. So you go ahead and box that off, and there is your final answer. We're going to do another one. This one's a little bit more difficult. It's number 7. So again, we're going to follow the same steps. We're going to circle what we're looking for underline what we're given. So it says how many cups are in two gallons? So this time we're going to try to go from cups to gallons. So again we reference our conversion chart. We see we cannot go directly from cups to gallons. We actually have two different conversions we're going to use. It's going to be four cups in a quart and 0.25 gallons in a quart. So I'm going to write those down again. We're going to have one quart equals 0.25 gallons. And then we're also going to use one quart equals four cups. So we have that set up. So since we need two conversions, we're going to start with gallons. We're going to go to quarts and then to cups. Notice we have two arrows, which means we're going to need two sets of boxes. So again, we start with what we're given, which is two gallons. We make our tic-tac-toe bar, which again is going to need two boxes for two arrows. Since gallon is on the upper left-hand corner, it needs to be in the lower right-hand corner in order for it to cancel. And our first conversion is gallons to quart, so quart goes on the top. We use our conversion factor that we already looked up to make sure the numbers match. So we're going to now be in quarts. Now we've got to go to cups. Again, quart has to go on the bottom opposite corner so that it can cancel out. Cups goes on the top. We match the number with the unit, so it's going to be 4 over 1. Remember, you're going to plug this into your calculator in a single step. We're going to ignore the ones, because when you multiply or divide by one, it's just equal to itself. So when you plug this into your calculator, it should look like this. Two 
divided by 0.25 because it is underneath and then multiply by 4 and then enter. That's going to give us good rounding and there's less room for error. So when you plug that into your calculator, you should get exactly 32 bucks. And then box off your answer. So up until this point, we've only done a single conversion at a time. Now we're going to use double conversion. So we're going to go ahead and read. I'm only going to do the first part of this. You're going to continue to do the second part, the miles per hour at home. So this says, if a good runner completes a 10K race in 65 minutes, what is his speed in feet per second and miles per hour? Again, I'm going to do the feet per second. You are responsible for the miles per hour. So we need to first figure out how we can write these givens. 10K is another way to write kilometers. So I'm going to put 10 kilometers. I'm going to make a long line because I'm going to need it. And then it's in 65 minutes, which is just speed, which is like a per. And another way to write per is something over something. So that's how we're going to write it originally, 10 kilometers over 65 minutes. The way you do these double ones is you ignore one side, fix one unit at a time. So right now, I'm going to pretend like this 65 minutes is not here. So if I were to take my eraser and pretend like this is not here, get a little bit bigger. That. We're just going to handle the 10 kilometers. So pretending like it's just in the kilometers. Again, we need to go to kilometers to feet, so we're going to reference our conversion chart. I can see that we're going to go from kilometers to meters to feet. Now I'm going to again use two conversion factors. One we used before, 1,000 meters equals one kilometer, and then a new one, one meter, equals 3.3 feet. So I'm going to need two steps. I'm going to make two tic-tac-toe boards. Again, in order to cancel out, kilometers go in the opposite corner. I'm going to meters first, so that goes on the top. I match up my number with the correct unit. Now I'm in meters. I want to go to feet. Again, cross out meters, feet goes on the top, match in my numbers. So at this point, I will have converted my distance in the feet. So I've done the first part of this problem. Now we can't forget that in this corner we had 65 minutes. We are going to continue on this line and fix minutes. We all know that we can go from minutes directly to seconds, and I think we all know that conversion is one minute equals 60 seconds. Now here's the tricky part. Since minutes is down here in the lower left-hand corner, we need to put it on the upper corner in order for it to cancel out, just like that. So seconds is going to go on the bottom. One minute equals 60 seconds, and if you look here, your units now are going to be feet over seconds which again can be written as feet per second, which is what we want. This math again can be a little tricky. We want to put it in all at once. So you're going to use parentheses. So you're going to do your starting numbers like this. 10 divided by 65. That kind of looks like a fraction to your calculator. Then you're going to multiply by 1,000. Multiply by 3.3. And divide by 60. And again, hit enter, and the answer should be 8.46 feet per second. So again, you're going to continue this problem and do miles per hour in the same fashion.